Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day of school. Oh, come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. It's time to start our day. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Water, water, water. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? His name is J-E-S-U-S. Jesus, he's the king of me, the king of the universe, the jungle and the sea. He's the king of the jungle, ooh, ooh. He's the king of the sea, blah, 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 blah. He's the king of the universe, and he's the king of me. I love the pip, pip, patter of the raindrops. I love the buzz, buzz, buzzing of the bees. But the thing I love the best, the very, very best, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know that God loves me. Oh, Father, we thank thee for the night and for the heaven's morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to do the things we should, to be to others kind and good. For all we do and work and play, to grow more loving every day. God is listening, God is listening when we pray, when we pray. Bow your head so slightly, close your eyes so tightly. Now we'll pray, now we'll pray. Dear God, we come to you today and we just want to say thank you so much for loving us. We thank you so much for the beautiful sunshine that you put in the sky to um, give us warmth, to help our plants grow. We are just so thankful the way that you take care of us and provide everything we need. And Lord, I thank you so much for our families and the people who are taking care of us. And I pray that you will help keep all of us well and safe. And we pray you'll um, continue to help us to do our very best in everything we do so that we can show love and kindness to our families and anyone around us. Thank you again for today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're going to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, yesterday was Monday, so today is what day? That's right, Tuesday. And what letter is this? What letter does Tuesday start with? A T, that's right. And T says T -t Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. All day long, all day long. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. All day long, all day long. Now look outside. What do you see out there? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it sunny? It's sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny. That's the weather out today. 
All right, so let's look at our day. Today is Tuesday, and we're still in the month of April. So today is Tuesday, April the, what number does that say? That's right, 14. Today is April the 14th, 2020. Now, yesterday we talked about ladybugs. And do you remember Molly's friend, Lucy Ladybug? Hi, boys and girls came to visit us. And she told us a little bit about ladybugs. Hi. And yesterday we watched a video and we learned some neat things about ladybugs. We learned that ladybugs have six legs. We learned that they're boys and girls. And even though their name is ladybug, they're not all ladies. Some are boys and some are girls. And we also found out that all ladybugs are not red. We found out there's some other color ladybugs out there too. But the main ones we see when we're outside are these kind that are red with black spots. And we also talked about how God made each one of them different. So no ladybug looks exactly the same pattern or the same with their spots. And we talked about how that's how we are too, that God made us each different. None of us are exactly look the same or exactly act the same or think the same because he made each of us different and that's what's really really cool how much he loved each of us and takes such good care of us now yesterday when we um, read a book we read a book that said are you a ladybug and we we're like no we're not ladybugs but we learned a lot about ladybugs and how a ladybug starts now are you when you were born did your mom lay an egg first no, that would be silly, wouldn't it? But ladybugs do start as an egg. And yesterday we read a book that told how they start as an egg and all the things that happen before they come out and look like this. So I'm going to show you a picture of the ladybug life cycle. Okay, boys and girls, in this picture, do you see at the very top of the circle right here? There's some yellow eggs. Now that's what a ladybug looks like at the very beginning. They're, they're inside of these little eggs. Do you see that number? What number is that? It says three, and this number says five. That means when they're in this little yellow egg, they're there for three to five days. Let's go around the circle. <gasps> Look what's next. When they come out of the egg, they look like this. This is a larva. That's a ladybug larva. Does that look like that red ladybug that we just looked at with the red and black dots? No. So they look like this first. So remember yesterday in our book, we read that when they're the larva, they eat the aphids and they eat a lot of aphids and then they keep shedding their skin. And they're here, it says right here, this big number is 20 and this number is 30. So that means they stay looking like this for 20 to 30 days. And that's how long it is. And that's almost a whole month. Then let's move around our circle. Oh, look right here. Then we enter the pupa stage. And that's when their bodies go in and they get covered all up. And remember, that's when their bodies start to change. So God made them so that they would go into this little pupa stage and stage and their bodies would change. And look, three days to 12 days, then go around the circle. <gasps> when they come out, then they look more like the ladybug that we're used to seeing. And the reason it's in a circle is because after they look like the ladybug we see, it goes up to the top and then that ladybug has eggs, lays eggs and then it goes all the way around again and then more ladybugs come. So that's their life cycle. It's a lot different than our life cycle, isn't it? So God made everything special and he made it just right for what they need and where they live. Okay, now I want you to make a little ladybug. Can you take your finger and go like this and make a little ladybug? Show me your ladybug. Here's my ladybug. All right, we're gonna act out being a, our finger being a ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the farm and land right on my little arm. That's right. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the tree, land right on my little knee. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of your bed and land right on my little 
That's right, head. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of our rose and land right on my little nose. Good job. Did you hear all those rhyming words? Yeah, I heard a lot of rhyming words in that poem. We said farm and arm, tree and knee, bed and head and rose and nose. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to read a just for fun story about a ladybug. And this ladybug was lazy. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means she didn't really want to do very much. Sometimes we all feel that way, don't we? Miss Hudson has felt that way before too. But let's see what happens to her when she is lazy. All right, this book is called The Very Lazy Ladybug, and it was written by someone named Isabel Finn and illustrated by, remember what that means? You're right, that the person that drew the pictures is Jack Tickle, The Very Lazy Ladybug. This is the story of a very lazy ladybug. She liked to sleep all day and all night. Because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybug didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybug wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybug had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounced by, what do you think she's going to do? Well, let's see. <gasps> She hopped into her pouch, Boink. but the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybug. It's too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back, Boink. but the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail, Boink. but the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'll fall into the river. So when the monkey dropped by, she hopped onto her head, Boink. but the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear. Boop. But the bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. He'll never sit still. So when a tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell. Boop. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. Uh-oh. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It is too hot. So when an elephant walked by, she hopped onto his trunk. Boink. At last, thought the ladybug, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail, or swing, or scratch, or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed. Ha, 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 chew. And the lady, lazy ladybug had to fly at last. <gasps> So he helped her, didn't he? She had to fly after that. There was no one else to hop on to. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a fun song about five little ladybugs. So listen to this one and watch the, how funny it is. God made everything with care, and he cares for everything he made. From the biggest elephant to the tiniest ladybug. Little ladybugs all in a row out to the garden they started to go. But one of them stepped on the other one's 
Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that song as much as I did, especially when Uncle Joe's eyes went around and around. That was funny, wasn't it? All right, well, when we are going to end our lesson for today, this morning, and then when you come back later today for lesson two, we're going to do some more things with numbers and counting. So I hope you have a good break. Go take a break, go outside and run around a little bit, maybe get a snack, and then you can come back and watch lesson number two. See you in a little bit. <laughs> 